Through the introduction of the mayor of Tom's River, Siji received permission from the state's Office of Emergency Management to visit the sealed-off areas of Berkeley Township and Pelican Island for a disaster assessment. Thank you. Thank you. Here, trees, power lines, and even houses lay broken or in pieces on the street. Cars that were not moved in time lay smashed, and even boats were blown ashore by the powerful wind. After Sandy, New Jersey truly looks like what Governor Christie called a war zone. To help, the Tsiji, New Jersey chapter set up a disaster command center and will carry out aid distributions in the areas of Little Ferry, Tom's River, New Brunswick, and Atlantic City. So the volunteers also plan on distributing blankets to help against the encroaching cold weather. They hope to also increase the speed and range of the distribution. Although many volunteers suffer power outages or other damages in the storm, they are still here today, putting the needs of others ahead of their own. Despite the extent of the work, volunteers are committed to getting help to the residents affected as soon as possible. It is 4 a.m. and the sky is still dark, but city volunteers have already loaded the relief supplies ready to travel to Atlantic City. Arriving at the distribution site, Texas Avenue School, residents were already waiting in line. Here in New Jersey, the sky is blue and the weather has returned to normal. Fortunately, the residents do not have to wait in the cold. Among the residents receiving the relief aid, many were new immigrants who were not fluent in English, and city volunteers display kindness and passion as they show them how to complete the phone. City volunteers seize the window of the weather and carry out a large-scale relief aid distribution for 500 families at the South Times River Elementary School. Among those assisting is the principal of South Times River Elementary, as well as the staff from the local office of emergency management. I think the people here, I know myself, uh, you don't feel like you're alone. You feel like you have the support of the world. And, uh, you know, and an organization like, like yours is uh, just, just really heart, heartwarming. You are not called the little town with a big heart for no reason, because it is true, you have a big heart. And for that, I love you all. A warm heart closes the gap between cultures and religions and inspires great love. Thanks to the blessings and care of many, the residents of South Times River will be back on their feet in no time. Union Beach is a borough of 4,000 people. After Hurricane Sandy struck, 80% of houses here were flooded. The victims offer each other encouragement. Many residents soon gather in the venue and shed tears upon hearing God bless America. Recovery will all get back to normal and be the beautiful little town that we are, the greatest little town in the world. And we'll all stick together and we'll be stronger. And thank you very much. We love you. You're still okay? Yeah, I'm okay. My daughter lost her house and everything, you know, so I have her with me. I at least have a roof over my head, but just the, the charity and the generosity of everybody just overwhelms me. Overwhelms me. This is the scene at Siji's final large-scale distribution before Thanksgiving. The distribution is taking place at a middle school in Berkeley Township, and Siji volunteers from the New Jersey chapter are all here to help out. Perhaps it is because Thanksgiving is just around the corner. At the distribution site, warmth and family spirit fills the air. It's amazing to see kindness. Uh, all these people took time away from their families, from their loved ones, to be here today. So uh, I'm just uh, overwhelmed. Overcoming all obstacles, this relief distribution helped 326 families. With love and care, the volunteers will accompany the disaster victims through this unforgettable Thanksgiving. I'm so thankful for these people that have helped me, and this is the best birthday I ever had. Here at the distribution site at Times River, in addition to local residents, residents from Ocean Gate and South Times River are also here to pick up the much-needed cash cards. To explain it to the kids and, and that about, about uh, you know, why we can't go back home, you know, for Christmas and that, but I really appreciate it. It's going to make a difference. 
with help from the Red Cross and local government officials, the event went smoothly. So many people come together to help other people and it's amazing to me. It's really, truly amazing. For an organization to give money to people is, is unheard of. I, I mean, I've never heard that before in my life. I, I can quite honestly say I never heard of the organization before, but I'll never forget it. I can tell you that much, that's for sure. Several local residents also put on their volunteer vests. I'm here helping out as much as I can. I feel like it's my town, my beach. I love it and I want it back, so I want to help people. When I came here after I got done with all of my things, everybody's hugging me. I mean, it, it truly is a very, you can feel the love and it, it's incredible. It's incredible. So I would strongly urge anybody that's looking for a really good organization to volunteer for to sign on. <laughs> you guys are incredible. Thank you so much. Thanks to the help of Ciji and other organizations, residents here are moving past their sadness. Many students have returned home for the Thanksgiving holidays and have chosen to spend time with their parents as volunteers. Before the aid distribution, everyone prays, and the wife of Ocean Township's mayor also shares in the sadness. Meanwhile, the recipients wait outside the venue. Bathing in the song, God Bless America, the residents look sorrowful, but the mayor, who wears a tzuchi vest, does his best to encourage the recipients. Thing I have to tell you, I, I walked in here this morning and I saw almost a hundred people here, volunteers, people that you see now standing on the sides on the aisles, ready to help us in our in the problems we've gone through with Hurricane Sandy. Among the volunteers, 22 travel from Washington D.C. and one came all the way from Zhejiang, China. Is this the first time you came here? I feel quite emotional as this is my first time coming to such an occasion. I see the volunteers passionately helping the disaster victims. Although I have not been through what they have, I can feel what they are going through. I brought all my family members here, my wife, my two daughters and my son-in-law. An eight-year-old volunteer is hugging the survivors, doing her part to cheer people up. I had to cry today when you played God Bless America and I was very overwhelmed by all of the generosity from everyone in this room. It's amazing. The hugs, thank you so much. We needed it. We're more than just a FEMA number. This is a fantastic organization, and I don't know what our town would have done had you not come here. The, uh, the amount of participation by the volunteers uh, is just unbelievable. I, if I went out and told people on the street what you have done for us today, they would not believe it. And we don't, I, I just don't know how to thank you enough. It has been an experience and you have to be here today to see what's going on and to feel what these people are feeling. I must have cried 10 times, 20 times today. I look terrible. <laughs> The Red Cross also prepares some hot meals for the disaster victims, and everyone returns home with hands full of aid supply. Here at Bayview, City New Jersey chapter conducts its night aid distribution. Over 100 volunteers are skillfully preparing the distribution site. Doug, who works as a chauffeur, sacrifices weekend to help out. I can only imagine what they feel, and I, and I know I just want to relieve help relieve that they're you know they're suffering in any way I can because I, I, I can only imagine it in my heart and it pains me to know that others feel that way and I have to do something. The blankets is imported from Taiwan and the donation fund is coming from more than 30 countries of the worldwide. Over 600 families from four boroughs come to pick up cash cards to make sure the money goes to those needed most, the volunteers cautiously confirm the identity of the applicants. This is Kevin's second time to be a volunteer. So quite a few people we know were affected and you know, sitting at home, heat's on, no electricity lost. Um, we we're pretty fortunate, so it really felt like we should go out and do something. So, As a previous recipient, Dora reciprocates by volunteering to help as she remembers the moment when she picked up relief items at Weartown Elementary. You're from another country to help my country and my community. I'm just so humbled um, and very proud that you're, you help us. 
Upon receiving the cash card, Michael immediately makes a donation. Thank this organization more than enough for caring about people in New Jersey, especially in Seaside Heights, and I feel back to give back um, as fast as I could. So that was the last dollar that I had in my pocket and I um, donated it to this organization. For the survivors, Tsuji not only gives them relief items, but also the strength to go on and help others in need. It's 4 a.m. and still dark, but the Tsuji volunteers of the New Jersey chapter are ready to leave for Long Beach Island to conduct an aid distribution. On the street, the devastation caused by Hurricane Sandy still remains. Upon arriving at the venue, the volunteers soon unload the air supplies. Tsuchin <laughs> also makes snacks and cards for the residents. <laughs> Knowing that cash cards are donated by people around the world, the recipients are moved to tears. That you, you people have been working hard to, to raise money for us, people in trouble, right? It's amazing. Makes me cry. <laughs> I'm, I'm just very thankful for you guys coming out and doing this. It's just hard to believe that there's such nice, giving people in the world. And I just appreciate it a lot. This is a great organization. I feel wonderful. I'm so happy that I came to help out. This is wonderful what you're doing, helping people. This is really wonderful. The story of the Bamboo Coin Bank motivates survivors to reciprocate. I saved it from our house, which, you know, is destroyed, and I just put it in a plastic bag. I was going to take it to the bank and have them make... And then I came here and I wanted to, I said, I'm just going to give it to you guys. You have blessed us so much. And I feel like, you know, my Lord led me here with divine intervention and you guys have helped so much. Why am I, I want to give it back to you guys. Feeding the pain of each survivor, city volunteers bring love and care to console the residents.